Hello, everybody. So we are going out of town. Please fix the scrap, please. He's like, we are going out of town for Braylon's birthday. So it's going to be me and Dylan and DJ and Nyla and Braylon and of course his dad, okay. Braylon. Okay. Okay. I'll hold it for you. He is being very demanding. He got his little toy back there. I got his iPad and kicking. Braylon, what's going on? She's kicking all the stuff off him. <laughs> you don't want that stuff on you? <laughs> it's gonna be like a two hour drive. Is this circuit okay? Make sure it's like, he got like room. There we go. Yeah, there we go. He got room to move around type thing. There you go. I got like all of Brilliant's equipment all over me. All this equipment yeah. and my purse and stuff all over him. And I mean all over me. So his feed bag, his monitor, got all of it over me. Just holding on to it. The car is packed. Packed. Packed, baby. No? It's nighttime. We're leaving in the middle of the night, like what? almost 8 30 at night because of the fact that you know Brylon's dad he works in the daytime so he had to work today and he literally just got off at like six o'clock so we had to pack the car up get the kids together and now we are on the way see Brylon back there dancing rocking his body all right guys let's go so we have made it safely to our destination Myrtle Beach South Carolina um, Brilla is very tired, so for right now, I'm just going to suction him, get him set up, get him ready for bed, give him his feed because he's actually due for his feed, and then we're going to get some rest and and do some festivities tomorrow. Right, Bop Bops? You want me to suction you? I know you want daddy. You have to wait because we have to clean up, get things put up so we can sleep comfortably tonight, okay? Daddy's coming. Let mommy set your stuff up. Mommy got to set your bed and stuff up, okay? Make sure everything is close by. Yeah, mommy's gonna set it up. Oh, you got my phone? Say hi, so I'm tired. Wait, we're gonna get ready for bed. Mommy's gonna get you ready. Okay. You gotta wait. I'm gonna cut it off. Can you come here? You want this light off? I'm gonna cut it off. But can you wait till mommy finish getting all your stuff? It's all the stuff that we have packed. Of course, this, the the um, the kids have stuff. No, no, no. Have their stuff. Of course, they have their stuff in the room that they're staying in, but I just need to get all of this together, get all the brilliant stuff plugged up. Right, boo? Let me see what your heater. Gotta plug your heater up, boo. So this is brilliant's heater. Yeah, I gotta plug all of this stuff up. Gotta plug it up. Gotta get everything together and make sure everything's on the charger. Gotta get his vent and bring it over here and prop it up some way, somehow. But I'm gonna figure it out because I always do. I got his water bag right there. And then I have a backup water bag because this one clearly is about to be empty. But his feed bag, his oxygen, he has another oxygen tank in the car. And then all his cords are right here. So I'm about to plug up all his stuff, right? I'm coming. I know you want me. Oh. I do wish I had your stand, boo, but it's okay.
sure to charge it for the hair. It is comfortable for my prints. So I try to have everything close by that I will need. I thought I cut this on. That I will need, you know, his feed, his oxygen, his monitor, and everything is plugged up. I brought our own surge protector. Um, his heater, I'm going to cut it on once I connect it back to his ventilator and his suction machine. Then I have extra supplies for everything. Backup cords, backup parts for his suction machine. His diaper bag is right there. Um, of course, I'm going to put his ventilator right there so that um, I can reach it. But everything is in arm's reach. I think it's really important for parents to bring their own surge protector so that they can plug up multiple things. But other than that, we're going to get some rest. Here's your mama chips. It's spectacular. I'm literally watching the sunrise right now. We are on the 18th floor. It is amazing. It is so cold outside, but you can hear the ocean and you can see it. I think it's the most beautiful thing ever. And then, of course, I am very prepared. I have Brilla's hat. I have his mittens. I have his jackets. I have him a windbreaker. I have him his up boots with the fur inside of it it's just to make sure that I keep him warm. And if I need to go get him more stuff from the store, I absolutely will. I just want to make sure that he does not catch anything, he doesn't get sick, he doesn't get any type of air infections from being in this weather, but it's absolutely breathtaking. So right now, it's time for Billings morning meds. So I have everything packed up, as you can see right here. I'm just going to give him the meds that's due right now this morning, which is two medicines. And then actually, I could go home. I'll just do that when I come back and cook breakfast. See, I'm glad I brought extra syringes because I just dropped them. <clears throat> and I keep extra syringes in here. And I also have it in his little book bag. And I also have it in his little carry-on case. So he has extra syringes whenever I may need them. Yeah, it's early in the morning. <clears throat> It's early in the morning. I had to cut the heat on because we're staying in Myrtle Beach and it's really cold right now. I mean, the water is making it feel cooler than, you know, how it feels in Charleston. So I had to cut the As a mom, I always come prepared. Brilly got this bag from Complete. He won a giveaway. And I use this bag just to pack up all the things that I know he would need. There we go with those extra syringes. Um, extra G-tube attachment. So I have that in here. Um, I have another extra G-tube attachment just in case um, we, we lost one. We almost lost one last night, but I was so determined to find that one. It was actually in his diaper bag, but I did bring these just in case the one that he wears is stopped working. It gets kinked. Like we lose it. Like something is, you know, wrong. So then in here, I also have, um, like I said, I keep these things on hand. Uh, backup water bag because the water bag he has is almost empty but you never know when that water bag might, might malfunction so of course I brought a backup one and then his feeds that he's going to need for the next couple of days so this is enough feeds for Braylon um let's see if I needed more you know I could also I could always call his DME company, but this is enough fees for Brenna to get the math. I think I actually brought one extra, yeah, just so that he will not run out. But these are enough fees for Mr. Brill and Bob. Our schedule does not change because we are on vacation. I still make sure that I get through his meds on time and his feet on time and make sure we play with him, read him as well as dad read to him last night before we went to sleep because I brought him four books. So I came prepared, very much prepared.
house schedule does not change because we are on vacation. I still make sure that I give Dylan his meds on time and his feet on time. And we make sure we play with him, greet him as well as dad read to him last night before we went to sleep because I brought him four books. So I came prepared, very much prepared. Give you your chest PT. Please. Hello. You gotta get it. You wanna turn around and get it and see yourself? Morning boy, birthday weekend boy. Yeah, it's your birthday weekend. You, yeah. It's your birthday weekend. Oh, Brillin, I can't wait till next year. It's gonna be amazing. Every year with you is amazing. Brillin, <laughs> he is a cool cat. Who said that? Oh. <laughs> Let's get sexual. So I guess with the change of weather, because it's a colder in Myrtle Beach, like I said earlier, Brillin's a little bit more secretion-y, so I'm just going to give him the suctions that he needs and the chest PT that he needs and make sure he stays nice and clear, right? I also got his saline bullets, so if I need to do a, like a suction lavage, I will suction lavage him, but his sets were great all night. 96, 98 was his oxygen level, so he's been doing good. He just needed like a little chest PT. And some suction and i'm also going to listen to his lungs just to make sure he's moving air the right way and not wheezing yeah mommy's just a little concerned about it being a little colder than usual for you so just want to make sure you're okay what what <laughs> and then of course we got a lot of things that we're going to do today i actually need to sit down and write out what we're going to do or type out what we're doing want to do because um i just want to make sure that everything goes as planned i know Sometimes things don't go as planned, but I like for things to go as planned. Light like bringing box. Important to be prepared for everything. As y'all see, I have Brillin's backup supplies here. Brillin's suction catheter was looking very nasty and I just changed it last night. But it had like lots of mucus from me suctioning him. So I decided just to throw that one away and put a new one on him. So y'all just make sure that y'all keep all of y'all supplies and make sure y'all have enough for multiple days. Because you never know what's going to happen. It's very important just to make sure for our babies that we have everything that they need. Come here. Baby, don't be scared. Mommy's getting your iPad ready for you. I put Brillin right there, but he seemed to be scared. He's supposed to be walking around. I think he's scared. I'm coming, baby. Melissa worked like three jobs in order to feed the animals that they had. And finally, finally, she found a way. You want your iPad? No? You gonna sit by Daddy? While Mommy cooks breakfast? Thinking? Yeah. Want Daddy? <laughs> Y'all slept good? Y'all was comfortable? Yes. I tried to make sure everybody had their own bed when I booked it. I didn't realize that this was a bed too until this morning. It's it's a queen bed. Mm-hmm. 
You know your mama's gonna feed you, boo. Feeding Braylon his favorite little snacky snack. No, no sleep. You gotta get up and get ready for today. Go pick your outfit out. Okay. Do you have your outfit picked out? You need to pick it out. Everybody got their two brushes? Uh, Mark, you want me to go downstairs and um purchase your toothbrush? That's fine. No, I thought I, I thought I brought my backup toothbrush, but I only brought my traveling toothbrush. I usually bring two toothbrushes of my own. What time is it? Hey Siri! What time is it? Where's your Siri? She probably can't hear you. Shoot, mine can't hear me when I'm in the same room as it. I'm so used to Alexa, but we didn't bring Alexa. No. I'm sorry, you had a little boogie in there. I have to get it out. I thought you were about to come something like that. Hopefully, the car keys don't get lost. I mean, he told us last time he was like, $5. <laughs> the person who lost it found it. Yes. Cool. This curl is wider than this curl. Oh, wow. I wonder why one of you accidentally scratched it out. Oh. Where you going, Bray? All right. Highlights of a oh Braylon Bob with that good nice skin. With your mustache, your yogurty mustache. <laughs> Look at that yogurt on you. Look how happy he is. Messy boy. Everybody is almost ready. Just waiting on dad. But all the kids and I are ready, and we're so excited about what the day has for us. We don't know exactly what we're doing. We're going to wing it. I have a couple of things, you know, in my head that I planned out. But we're going to sightsee and maybe go to the aquarium, maybe go to the museum. You know, whatever happens, happens. Brilliant getting his feed before we go. Yeah, he's listening to his favorite show, Signing Time. Little Dylan's just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> little Nyla, being little Nyla. <laughs> What's it? I caught her in 4K, y'all. <laughs> Where you going, Nyla? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more of Braylon's birthday to be seen.